crazy. She is, but she's here to work. You're going to teach the boy some manners. Get those male elephants to calm down. Oh, they'll calm down with the matriarch to boss them around. Why can't we release her now? Well, she's still a bit stressed from the journey, and I need to deworm her. As long as she gets the boys in order before the first vermin arrive. Guests, Duplessis. We prefer the term guests. <laughs> we'll put the worming tablet in there. Up, 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 up. Oh, up, 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 up. Oh, yes, you're beautiful. No, she's not a dog, eh? Why will they listen to her? Everyone listens to the matriarch, boy. You'll find out soon enough. Well done, Nomsa. Another couple of days' hard work, and I think we were ready for them, Sibby. Sarah. Elephants. Oh, don't worry about the elephants. There's electrified fences, they can't get in. I think they can. You said once we got a matriarch, it would stop the other elephants taking out all the fences. But they will. As soon as she's relaxed and ready, I'll release her. Oh, tell her to hurry up, then. Those male elephants are like dumper trucks. Weeks of work destroyed in a minute. I know. They've taken out some more sections of the new fencing. I'll have to fix it. So you're pretty busy, then? <laughs> I've got a new matriarch to settle in. A bunch oh, of hoodlum male yeah. elephants tearing out fence posts. Someone brought an owl in that's flown into a power line. The vulture's off his food and... Why do you ask? No reason. Oh, and the diesel's due any minute. You can take care of that. Yeah, of course I can. Mum booked her and Rosie in for a beauty appointment at Mr Tate. She wants to go but is worried there's too much to do. Do you want to go? The business comes first. Oh, come on. You've worked your backside off. If you want to go, you go. Oh, I must admit, I could definitely do with someone reworking my joists. And maybe a little bit of replastering. Oh, you look all right to me. <laughs> Correct answer, Mrs. Shavanian. <laughs> it me, or is there some sort of Greek chorus in the kitchen? <laughs> Are you coming or what? I don't know. We're, we're too busy. Oh, come on, Sarah. Look how hard you work. You need a treat. Come on, you girls, go and enjoy yourselves. I'll do all the work. I'll get my bag. <laughs> I want to ask him if you can borrow some diesel. Deworm that elephant. I've emailed all our first guests, told them how much we're looking forward to meeting them. <laughs> Good. We're really pleased you're staying, you know. We both are. I'm pleased you're pleased. How are you and Temba getting on? Temba? You know, that gorgeous bloke you work for. The one you smuggled into the shower the other night. Oh, and Dad didn't hear. I told him the Yarl had got his head stuck in the kitchen <laughs> bin again. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Not long to the big day. We're getting there, touch wood. We'll be getting a lot quicker if the elephants didn't keep trashing everything. If there's anything I can do. Actually, yeah, our diesel delivery didn't arrive. We wondered if we could borrow a couple of barrels to tide us over. Oh, I can't help you, I'm afraid. I've been onto them again this morning. We almost dry ourselves. <sighs> Who's first? Oh, age before beauty. Oh. Good girl. Wash that dust off. She's so beautiful. Especially when I scratch your belly, eh? <laughs> you know, I think she's my favourite. Well, I think yeah. I have to agree with you. <laughs> you are beautiful, aren't you? Well, you know you are. Yeah. Affectionate, loyal, great sense of humour. An amazing memory. Now, I thought that was just an old wives' tale about the memories. Don't you believe it. You've bonded with her now. She'll remember you for years. Yeah. Soon time for you to earn your keep, eh, girl? Uh, kick some illy butt. Uh. 
How's that, Mrs. Trevanian? Absolutely lovely, thank Not long enough. What the hell are you doing here? Sorry, sir, I couldn't help myself. I can't believe you do that. I'm really sorry, no offence meant. You have crossed the line. I did, I'm sorry. Just a stupid joke, forgive me. Sarah. Just get out! Too good to last. <laughs> Two matriarchs in a confined space. Mm. Big trouble. Why can't women be more like elephants? Yeah, just give them an orange and hose them down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is everything all right? <sighs> She's in a flap. Don't ask me why. Well, I thought everything was going well between them. So did I. Right, I'll talk to her. <laughs> How was Tate? It was fine. Huh? Who's that? Rosie cut them up on the road. Fancy an orange? Not really. What? Darling, calm down. You could have killed us. I'm sorry, there was a bee in the car. Um, we're looking for a place called Leopard's Den. You've found it. How can we help you? We're staying here. We are your guests. Hey, uh, you can put those bags back. You're not staying here, eh? Right? Duplicy. This is Leopard's Den, yes? Yes, it is, but... Would you say it was Friday? Look, Mr what? Chapman, I think you Show them the booking mistake. form, Eileen. Hmm. Bit different from the description on the website. Well, that's because we haven't finished yet. If you don't like it, the road out's over there. Who are you? I own the place. That's who I am. Apparently... They were booked in for two weeks' time, but we agreed to move their booking forward. Well, who said? Rosie! We don't want to be any trouble. We're hot, and we're tired, and we've come a long way. So if somebody... Rosie! Darling, just calm down. I'm sure everything will be all right. These are the Chapmans. Hi. Hello. You said that they could bring their booking forward. Oh, God, did I? <sighs> Sorry, Dad. Right. Nom, sir. Could you serve some of your lovely cold lemonade to the Chapmans on the front, huh? And Duplessis, go and check the elephant. Oh, I've already checked the elephant. Check it again. Danny, have a word inside. <laughs> 
<laughs> she's beautiful. Oh, she's mine. Sort of. They're here now. We can't turn them away. Well, we'll have to. We're not ready. We nearly are. Are you ready to release the elephants? Yes, but... Take them with you. They'll love it. I don't want them with me while I'm working. Look, it's critical that we get the elephants settled so that they stop destroying the park. Danny, the elephants are here so that people like the Chapmans pay to see them. You sure you can get everything ready while we're out? Trust me. Hey, where do you think you're going? Look, this is your mistake. Stay and help us fix it. Yeah, I said I'm sorry. Can you help me get their huts ready? I can't, sorry, I'm seeing Timber. Rosie! Look, you take them on a game drive, and I will take care of everything else. <sighs> what would you do if you were me? You really think uh, there's something going on between Sarah and Ted? Oh, I don't know. I... He was giving her a massage and all that. Does sound a bit suspect. He's broken a few marriages in his time. Has he? <sighs> what do I do? If I say something to Dad and I'm wrong, he's going to hate me. And if I say something to him and I'm right, he'll break his heart. The generator stopped. The diesel's run out. Mr. Ted will have some. He hasn't. I've already asked him. Anyway, we can't go to Mr. Tate every time we have a little problem. Oh. At least with an English fly, that's the decent eat up. Bugger off when you hit it. Duplessis. <laughs> farm in Africa, at the foot of Niagon Hills. What? Cam Blixen, House of Africa. Have you read it? He only reads the back of cornflakes packets. <laughs> you should. Easy now, eh? She'll have our heads up our shoulders if she decides to make a break for it. Yeah, Evan, maybe you better get everyone back a safe distance. Come on, Daddy. She won't do that. You got a hanky? Bye. Um, y yes. Thanks. Good. Oh, yeah. Now you sort them all out for me, yeah? And listen. If you have any problems, come and see me. Thank you. Can we go back now? I'm hungry and I need to have a shower. Look, Danny. Never get tired of seeing that. Ew. <laughs> we should cook these up, Nomsa, before they're ruined. There's no power in the cooker. Oh, have a barbecue then. I'll make some salads and some cold drinks. The fridge has stopped working. No cold drinks. Oh, warm drinks then. They're English. They won't complain. Hello, Mr. Tate. Sarah. We're a little bit busy. A word. Please. It's all I ask. Make it quick. I've got work to do.
I'm sorry about what happened earlier. It was stupid and unforgivable. And I apologize. Right. You'll excuse me. It was good spending time with you the other day. Looking for your kids, talking. And you expected some kind of reward? Of course not. I'm saying I enjoyed your company. And I think you enjoyed mine. <laughs> Don't flatter yourself. I came to apologize and I've done that. I'll leave you in peace. Good. Sarah. You know where I am when you need me. I won't need you. Sorry? What shall I do with the ice cream? Careful, Evan. Can we come? Stay close to me. For what? Well, hang on, wait for me. Hang on. I'm sure it's safer in the vehicle. Looks like she's been abandoned by her mother. Wouldn't the herd take her in? Well, these stallions get very aggressive. Maybe they kicked her around and she came back to the only place she knew. What will happen to her? Well, if we leave her, the jackals and hyenas will get her for sure. She'll need looking after till we find her mother. I think we're about to make Olivia's day. We're down to our emergency tank. What is the trouble this time? There's some sort of problem at the plant, sir. Where's your next delivery? Leopard's Den. How'd you like to earn some extra bucks? Everybody smile like their lives depend on it. No, sir. You were ages. What happened? Nature, red in tooth and claw, and dust, quite a lot of dust. <gasps> Look! I couldn't just leave her. If someone could point us in the direction of our accommodation, we'll uh, shower before dinner. Right, there's just one... Small obstacle to that lovely idea. Which is? There's no hot water. Well, cold showers will be fine. I'd quibble with the word fine, but if that's the best you can do. There's no cold water either. Sarah. The reason there's no cold water is because the pump's not working. God. Well, I can fix the pump. Can we at least have cold drinks while we wait? No, sorry. <clears throat> the fridge isn't working. You see, we've completely run out of diesel to run the generator. Smile. <clears throat> We can't have guests here with no water, no cold drinks, no lighting, and nothing to cook on. This place is falling apart. Barbecue and red wine? They left home nearly a day ago. They're grumpy, hot, dirty, and they're expecting the holiday of a lifetime, not a defrosting steak and a glass of warm Merlot. Well, what else can we do? <sighs> Taped. I've already told you he hasn't got any diesel to spare. Phone him up. Let the chapman stay at Mara for the night. No way! We can't afford Tate's prices. Yeah, but he likes you. Sweet talk him. Get us a deal. Yeah? 
I said, lend me some diesel, you miserable bugger. I don't... Hello? This is an adventure, isn't it? I think the word you're searching for is nightmare. We'll get some diesel from somewhere. Mr Duplessis is looking at his address book to phone some friends. It's a very small book. Where are you after? I'm going to take them up to Mara. Do you want me to take them? I mean, it was me who screwed up the booking. Thanks, Rosie. They're my guests, so they're my responsibility. <clears throat> I was going to help you with the huts. Will you be straight back? I'll be back before nightfall. In your own time. <clears throat> You'll be able to feed her soon. There's a good girl. You know girls, Danny? Girls? Yeah. Well, how do you know if they like you or not? Well, that is quite a question. And the answer is, I haven't got a clue. Do you know what I'd do if I were you? I'd find a copy of Out of Africa from Duplessis' library, and I would read it from cover to cover. This is more like it, isn't it? <laughs> Drinks? Can I have some tea? With me? This is a bit awkward for me. There's no need for it to be. I'll give them a night to remember, don't worry. <laughs> Not too memorable. I have to come back to our place in the morning. What did your husband say about this morning? Coming after me with a gun? I haven't told him. You don't have to worry. You didn't tell him? Is anybody hungry? Yes. <laughs> we are. <laughs> you hungry, darling? Yes. You'll join us? I have to get back. They are your guests, Sarah. <sighs> Do we all of this? I think they must be complimentary. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I even hear when you go. Sioli bamba leli tu ba konala. Hello, Leopard's Den. Ah, Sarah. This not left yet, then? No, not yet. He's happy to have them for the night, but the price is I have to stay and have dinner. Oh, what a shame. I know. I told you. Tell Danny not to wait up. I'll see him when I see him. Yeah, right. Bye. How's she doing? Pretty good. She's a tough little girl. Hey. You made a mistake with the booking. It's not the end of the world. I'm going to tell you something now, Dad, that, that's going to upset you. And you might think I'm saying it out of spite, but I'm not. We'll split it out, then. Uh, Sarah... Ah, oh, 
thought you two were getting on better. I think Sarah's having some sort of... Or some sort of what? Uh, I don't know, a friendship. Quite a close friendship with someone she shouldn't have one with. What on earth are you talking about? I think Sarah's seen Ted. I'm sorry, Dad. You are something else, Rosie. I mean, I know that you don't like Sarah. Oh, no, it's not that, Dad. To make up something like that is obscene. Oh, yeah, but it's true. I wish that it wasn't, but I think it is. If you really are so jealous of me being with her, maybe it's better if you do take off. Because I'm not prepared to put up with you anymore. He touched her. Rosie! No, he did, Dad. I saw him. And he was here with her today when you were out with the Chapmans. Did she tell you that? Get out of my sight. I must say, I, um... I could get to like Africa. Hmm. You've changed the tune a bit. If we'd wanted to see lions, we could have gone to Longleat. <laughs> it wasn't my first choice of destination, I must admit. Too hot, too many flies. The elephant might eat me. Yes. Thank you. Excuse me. It must be worth a fortune. Richard. This place was around and around. So what do you think about? I think they enjoyed themselves. Thank you. You made it a very special evening for them. Years of telling people what they want to hear. You sound like Duplessis. <laughs> Is that all you think of me? I'm too busy with my husband, children and a new business to think of you at all, Alex. Then we'd best get you back to your husband. I can drive myself. Good night. Sleep well. I'll be back in the morning to pick you up and take you back to Leopard's Den. No hurry. I'll send them back. No worries. Thanks. And don't forget to send me that invoice. Danny. What's wrong with our car? <laughs> it wouldn't start. Tate had to give me a lift. Good night. The Chapman's thought so. Tate did his earnest Hemingway bit. 
How is Alex? Very smug that our first ever guest had to stay at Mara. He's all right, is he? Yeah, I suppose. Why? I've no reason. Listen, we've barely had a minute together today. Shall I make us a drink? Not for me. I'm off to bed. Did Sarah say? I don't want to talk about it. You have to talk about it. Is she having an affair or not? You didn't ask her, did you? According to you, there was nothing to ask. It was cut and dried. Don't throw this back at me. I saw what I saw. I can't help that. But I'd at least want to hear it from her own mouth before I pass sentence. Dad! Ah, we've had the sublime. We're back for some more of the ridiculous. I thought this wouldn't start. The starter motor needed fixing. I meant to do that days ago. My fault. Sorry. Good morning. Right, we've got a full day planned for you. Danny's going to take you into the bush on foot and give you a vet's eye view of the flora and fauna. Could I have a quick word with you? Oh, there? Yeah. The diesel! Oh. What are you doing here? My friend, he's got a little story he wants to tell. Mr. Tate gave me money not to give you your diesel. He did what? He plays to win that man. He won't play when I cut off his head and throw it into the Limpopo. What is going on? I don't know. Well, are we going on that walk or what? So close to real wild animals. <laughs> are you sure it's safe? Yes. Are you certain? Richard, please. Well, if it's so safe, why are you carrying a rifle? To shoot tedious guests with. What did he say? He said to shoot tedious guests Shh. with. Shh. Ooh, what's wrong with him? Uh, I'd say she was looking for her foal. <laughs> So, let's go and get her. You can't hide in there, Omon. It's your family going down the black hole. But, uh, I'm not hiding. Oh. What are you doing? You're going to get dirty. I don't have to have a shower then. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sarah Heard is in the shower. She covered for us all, which is quite sweet of her, actually. You know, you, you're right. I am hiding. Thank you. Good. <sighs> Till the elephants decide to visit us again. Did you want something? No. No. Are you having an affair with it? Will this work? If we're all nice and quiet. Go! Go! 
Sorry it was a cobweb. Here she comes. Your ears must have been burning all last night. Sarah was saying how wonderful you are. Ah, oh, thank you. Why didn't you say something to me? I'm not in the wrong here. You're the one who let tape, are you? How many times do I have to tell you I didn't know it was him? So you're not having an affair with Tate? Have an affair with Alex Tate when I'm married to someone like Danny? Would you? Uh, no. I should have said something straight away. I was just trying to keep the peace. But for Danny to blow that into some sort of... I'm really disappointed in him. I remember the night he asked you to marry him. I knew it was scared stiff. I had to help him tie his tie. Part of me hoped you'd say no and that I could keep him all to myself. And when I heard him come in, I came downstairs. I could see you'd been crying. Crying? I said yes. He'd only ever really been with my mum. I don't think he thought a woman like you would ever choose a man like him. That's ridiculous. Well, that's what I said at the time. She should be so lucky. Anyway, I hope I find a man that cries when I say I'll marry him. Hello. Hello. I'll see if the Chapmans need anything. Danny, if you've got something to say, then say it. Mr. Shimonian, come and see. A little bit busy now, Olivia. Just come! That's one very distressed elephant. Be careful. Well, she came to me. I'll be fine. Well done, you. Evan, come and help me get my bag prepared. Tangled in a snare. Shh, 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 shh. Hey, 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 hey. Shh, shh, shh. Easy, girl. Easy. Oh, hey, what's this? What's this? Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, that looks very painful. Okay. Could use a hand here. Yeah. I'll do Careful, it. Careful, Richard. Just, just slowly. Slowly. Stay on my right shoulder. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Now, you come this side. Okay. Just down slowly. Slowly, slowly. Let's have a look. Tell me what to do. Now, can you hold the wire for me? while I clean this up. Okay, so good girl, good girl. Now I've seen everything. Now look, this is gonna smart a bit, okay? So no kicking Danny in the head. Yeah. All right. 
go. That's a good I know, I know. It stings, it stings, it stings. One more thing to do. I want you to think of wide open spaces, yeah? And cool, clear drinking holes. Shh, shh, shh. You all done. Need you to go and kick those alleys into shape for me, huh? You go knock them into shape. Okay. Okay. Start to back away now, Richard. Well done. That's great. <laughs> Not <laughs> I would walk over a million takes with nails hammered into my feet just to be with you. You're the love of my life. And I'm sorry to say you're stuck with me. Don't hit him too hard. Hello, folks. Look, I managed to find some diesel. It's yours if you want it. Shall I get my gun? Danny? I feel sorry for you. <laughs> you feel sorry for me? I don't understand. I'm sorry that you're lonely. I really am, because you'll never know the happiness that we know. But if you ever mess with this family again... We'll cut off your head and throw it in the Lumpapa. What my friend said. I'll take that as a no on the diesel, then. Until next time. So, uh, how's it going? Nomps are stuffing them with delicious food, and they can't stop talking about you and your elephant. You hero, you. Uh, that was something else. <laughs> oh, and I think Evan and Georgia are engaged. Good. Good. <sighs> you cried when I said yes. Rosie. <laughs> Have you any idea how sexy that is? What are you doing? Repeat after me. I am a very foolish man for ever doubting you. Sarah. Go on. I am a very foolish man for ever doubting you. And now I'm going to make love to my wife in a barn in the middle of Africa. And now I am going <laughs> Make love to my wife <laughs> in a bar <laughs> in the middle of Africa. <laughs> Fabulous idea. <laughs> <laughs> you come back again, I'll kill you. Please promise me you won't do anything silly. Promise. She got anthrax, Mr. Trevenian. I don't know, Olivia. If this place is infected with anthrax, then we are in big trouble. Our stock will die. No animals, no tourists, no money.
Well, next tonight on ITV1, an investigation into the apparent suicide of a grieving mother leads on a trail of unrequited love, intrigue and revenge. John Nettles is back for the brand new series of Midsummer Murders. Or there's double trouble as the brothers think a shape-shifting doppelganger's at work in Supernatural over on ITV2. Yeah,